Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now. And today I'm gonna take you through how to automate your workflow to deploy your any project to Docker Hub directly. So with your every commit, it's gonna push uh, to the Docker Hub uh, with the help of workflow that we are gonna create. So we are going to create everything from scratch again. So what you have to do, you just need to create a new project. So it will be a basic uh, console log project or any print uh, hello world project. Okay, that we are gonna um, push to Docker Hub via uh github github actions so uh, you need to create a new folder over here and quickly name it okay uh let's say push it okay uh drag your folder and now uh, quickly open your terminal okay you can use uh, command j as well okay like this uh, if you are on mac otherwise you can use control plus pack tick okay it's all your choice then uh, i'm gonna use node project uh, because lots of folks are familiar with the uh, node and uh, after that we are gonna uh, let's say uh, we'll create a new file with the uh, hello world okay and uh, it will be index.js this is it i guess there is no need to initialize new project as well this is just a uh, a uh, simple hello world project okay this is it but uh how we will learn that uh, to install dependencies and all so let let's create a basic express app will be better i guess uh so in it hyphen y and npm install express okay it looks nice okay so now we can do one thing if you are guys familiar with docker already so uh we what we generally create a docker file here okay to build the image okay this is the one way uh if you need to build this image what the simplest way is to run uh, from your node image you need to uh, get the node image here okay then you need to define your work directory quickly here let's say app after that you need to run command whatever it may be okay so uh, before that we need to copy all the things from here to that particular container that or image that we are gonna create okay so what we'll do i need a package.json so i can install the dependency i need an index.js so i can uh, uh, run the things okay and name of folder that you have just defined over here is app otherwise you can uh, if you don't want to define work directory it will by default uh, consider the current directory after that you can run the command like npm install all the your bash commands okay like that this is it okay you can expose the port if you want but for now we'll stick to the simplest process so after that we can run okay like uh, command okay so command is something that we use for to start the project okay here you can write your index.js and here you can write your node okay if you want to install nodemon you can okay and npm install nodemon and do the thing so instead of this you can write nodemon as well so this is it this is the best uh, simplest example uh, that uh, uh, we can start with okay so here what you will do is you will uh, quickly initialize new project get in it okay and uh, once you do that you need to uh, also need to create a new project over here okay so let me create a new repository quickly i'll uh, select this one the name that we got here okay after that uh, click here create repository and uh, quickly grab the link one two three control c control v hit enter this is it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna you can use git ignore file with you can install with npx git ignore okay uh, space node okay you can do this thing otherwise generally i prefer to use this thing as well sometime uh, git git ignore.io and here you can define all the things uh, like uh, sorry yeah here you can define i have used node.js in my project vs code visual studio code docker i have used like whatever it may be it will, and if you click here it will automatically create 
uh, the file you can use this thing as well it's all up to you okay so uh, we got the doc git ignore already now uh, you can create docker ignore as well to ignore the docker things blah 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 so for now we'll uh, directly add the things we'll commit the things and we'll push the things okay so uh git push won't work but we'll get the command to upstream master okay so you can use main as well but uh, it's okay after that let's go here let's quickly refresh the page and we'll see the code over here boom so after that in actions you can choose you can choose there are lots of workflows that you can choose from for saving the time okay then you even don't need to write this docker file okay one more thing i missed here okay you can choose the version as well here like 16.9.0 let's say and choose always alpine uh, container okay to save your build time okay it is very important if you are not comfortable with it so you can also choose alpine directly okay and after that you can run the command like i need what uh, apk add okay and name it like what you want node.js i need npm or you can use hyphen hyphen update as well okay so it will automatically install the uh, it will get the alpine container it will install the node.js it will uh, go with the flow okay cool it sounds good let commit okay okay i don't like to write this type of commits but uh, for saving the time we'll push this thing till then we'll go here so you can choose anything by the way from here okay if you want to deploy directly to azure but we'll stick to the minimal approach okay so you will learn everything from scratch so we'll go with the set of workflow yourself like that okay and here what you will do is uh you will you can write all the commands over here okay cool so i don't need to do anything over here so i'll just remove it okay and you can do things like uh let me log into the docker first so what you will do is you need to log into the docker to push the thing okay so you need to define username let's go to the docker quickly let's go to the my this is my username okay if you don't have account it's free you can uh, like sign up okay so here you can go into account settings okay if you have a pro version there is also you don't need to do this kind of things okay this is just a waste of time if you have a pro version okay you can install the now uh, uh, like the application as well okay so after that what you will do is you will go here you will inside your security you can see here you just need to click here after that you need to generate a token okay let's say test token okay generate so this is your temp password okay so here what you will do oh uh, sorry in here you need to log in so for login you need to provide username don't worry we will pass this uh we'll secure it don't worry i know uh, so after that we need a password okay so this is how you can log into your docker but before that we don't have any image so what you will do so we need to build image first so this is how we build we need to provide tag name let's say app and dot so it will find the docker file inside current directory okay and it will build with the like with app and after that what we're gonna do we can do one more thing we can write a echo as well like hello world or something like that but for now we'll build the image after that we will uh, provide tag like app is equal to it's mahesh karya but for that we need here the repo here as well okay so let's close this thing we need to create repository over here so uh, we can go to the repositories quickly we can click here on create repository name it okay test and you can see uh we we have got this thing the tag local image name repo name and docker push this is it okay so uh, i have created this test now i just need to push this thing okay so you can by default it will automatically create the latest one 
or you can uh, define the logic for uh, getting to different ids every time okay so okay now i can push this thing but before that we need to log in first over here so here i'm just uh trying to create build image once i'm done with that okay instead of that i'll say scripts you can use multi-line scripts otherwise you can separate these things uh into multiple scripts okay uh, we can separate these things as well it's all up to you guys okay it's also easy you just need to grab these things two times uh name it differently okay and go on this is it so once you push it okay once you push all the things after that only it will work so let me remove all the necessary things like i don't need this thing i don't don't need this comments there are many comments here remove it remove it all the things no worries by default it will you can change the branch from here if you want okay uh cool now it will looks cleaner for uh, ci cd we are using and this is just not limited to docker there are lots of like uh, it, docker hub is not only one everywhere you will get the kind of repository thing so you can directly push to uh, aws as well azure as well anywhere okay you just need to first log in you just need to tag this thing and after that you need to push this thing so we'll try to run this thing i hope i'm missing something here i don't remember okay we need to configure it okay in secret this is the very important but before that we'll uh, commit the code quickly so we can get the errors okay because uh, until then what we can do is uh, let's go to the here okay here you can see uh this orange circle it means build just started and if i go here you can see uh it will take some time to run this uh, job okay uh 16 17 seconds okay cool now you can see line by line uh first of all uh from alpine the docker file is executing then we got add packages this is running completely fine we got nodejs we got uh work directory then we got ins npm install and everything is running fine it means it is successfully we got actually it is deployed already so we don't need to worry about that okay cool so okay we got the build the latest build you can see and every time if i'll uh, commit something over here we'll get this you can see uh okay cool so uh yeah you can upgrade to pro as well okay so you don't need to do this kind of things uh so let's go to the secrets quickly so in settings what you can do is you can quickly uh go into the secrets actions okay cool and here new repository secret okay here you can name it uh docker secret okay and here you need to press the secret okay i just forgot actually so let's open the code into you got the secret only one time okay so please remember to save it somewhere otherwise uh, you need to create a different one okay so uh, uh you can grab this thing okay and just name it uh like this docker secret and after that just uh, grab your username okay and name it something like uh, no worries i'm gonna remove it okay you might be thinking that you can access uh, my repos but not okay okay cool so now we can use this two variables over there okay in my code so let's see how we can use it okay you can check uh, like generally we use console log to print something before accessing it okay so you can now uh, check with echo something like that okay dollar then you can write okay like that space dollar space okay make sure to use um s e c r e t s dot or uh, docker user okay oh uh, make sure uh, we are right i'll we'll go to the settings quickly here in secrets actions uh docker user okay 
and docker password of course so just by docker user then you can use echo to print your docker secret okay quickly over here and here as well we'll do the same okay there is one more thing that we need to take care about i will show you guys there is one mistake we are making once you log in it will store your into the logs that what you are doing so this password is going somewhere inside your log okay if you guys remember so uh, this is the vulnerable activity that we are doing even though let's do it let's not do it i'm not so start commit commit okay now i'm gonna show you what is uh, i hope uh, you understood guys what the mistake we are doing here once you um it will be uh like you can see these things in logs if you go there or uh okay or here as well inside build so if your repository is public so anyone can see this thing so for that we have a solution okay till then let's see the first the build that we have successfully built this thing okay go here quickly yeah this is done already okay we got a green signal cool after that what we are gonna do is we are gonna uh quickly go here in main.yaml okay you might be working on some kind of ruby or some other projects but no worries the process will remain the same now i just don't need to do this thing okay so i'll i'll cut this thing from here i'll print this over here okay uh i'll say echo this thing and pipe operator and instead of password we'll say stdin hyphen hyphen uh, i hope it should work password so let me show you guys what i'm doing here so what it will do it will get the password from command line only so you, it will just uh, you, you can get this thing from here okay so i hope it should work okay let me see if not uh, we'll get the error and i can show you how we get the errors okay let me see quickly i hope it should work so till then we can search for it as well i find i find stdin password in docker in workflow or docker something like that as password hyphen hyphen even password hyphen even stdin something like that so we got the build field okay so you can see the build that we got here the password this command okay let me quickly change this thing okay there are lots of scripts you can write you can write your test things over here and lots of other uh, advantages uh, like it's all up to you how you use it okay so it is password stdin okay start commit commit and here we go so you can see uh, every time we are getting the latest image okay if you wanna get the different image every time or incrementing image you can write code for that as well it's all up to you no worries so let's go to the test quickly and okay so you can see this is three minute ago if everything is all right we'll get quickly over here okay so okay a few seconds ago means this is successfully deployed and if i go here you can see this is done 39 seconds before so this is how we can do this thing so this is how you can continuously deploy or we can say push to some repository of aws azure google you know like it's all up to you so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please don't forget to subscribe my channel i really need subscribers even though i don't have that much okay cool so and if you enjoyed please like my video <laughs> thank you so much and uh, please let me know in comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for, for you guys thank you so much have a good day